Hello and welcome to another update video about DOT. I think it's worth looking at DOT again, um, given that DOT has reacted successfully to the micro support area here and has not only reached my next upside target, but actually extended way above it, which sometimes happens. And therefore in my signals that I normally issue, I always talk about, for example, $6.03. I think that was the first target, $6.03 plus. Okay, um, very, very important because what were or, the, or what was going on yesterday, let me explain that I only want to share with you the shorter time frame because bigger picture, nothing changed. You can you can watch yesterday's update if you're interested to, to you know to check out basically here the um, the uh, bigger picture. Yeah, I talked about the larger time frame in yesterday's video, but here just looking at the micro, I mean, what did we talk about? We talked about okay, possibly wave one, wave two wave three wave four okay did land in our micro support area even though i did say that it is only a diagonal so it's less reliable um given that it broke below the 50 percent fib level and cut into the wave one price region so it's either a diagonal or something else certainly not an impulse that would have been the cleanest and then we wanted to see the wave five and somewhere uh, well above six dollars let me just double check that what was the target first target i gave you um, so, so the third wave did what it needed to do. I'm not drawing these very accurately right now, but the third wave reached 597, which was the first ideal target for the third wave. Again, can always go higher. And the fifth wave needed to reach um, $6.06 plus. Okay, so I, I think we've seen that. Important is that this trading area um, led to a reversal, even though it was not the greatest setup, but still worked out but now then we need to assess the chart and say okay does this still look like a five wave move not really this is extended a little bit too high given that the third wave is often the longest one we would need to change the structure now great example how structures evolve um, and how for example a possible five wave pattern evolves into a three wave pattern okay why let me explain that to you Basically, it doesn't have the right proportions anymore. This is way too long. So I would consider this a third wave now. But the move up initially was only in three waves. So again, it can only be a diagonal. I often say it when it's a diagonal, we have to be on the side of caution. Wave counts can easily change, transform and so on. But this is what I would go with now. It's a potentially dangerous structure because we still have only three waves up. And that could also mean it's an ABC structure. So it literally depends on whether the bulls can now defend the micro support area I've added to the chart. Um, the micro support area was communicated earlier today on Discord already to, to gold members. And it's defined between $6.04 and $6.23. And I will adjust it with the price today and you know whenever something changes, if needed, if the third, for example, pushes higher. Now, we currently see a bit of a downturn after PCE data, but DOT isn't really reacting much. So looking quite good. But the problem is this is only a three wave move up still. So we haven't got confirmation that the wave two bottomed. Still a great example how even without confirmation, you can get a profitable trade, right? You don't need to wait for confirmation until the market confirms something. You basically trade where reward is high and risk is low. and what we are watching for now is due to the changed structure, the third wave, while it has reached the bare minimum target for a third again, the 1.236 extension in this changed structure, the first ideal target is 651. So I, I ideally for a viable third wave in this structure, I'd like it to push once more higher to 650 or higher. And then we should get a fourth wave. If it pushes higher, by the way, I will have to adjust the support region. Then we should watch for a fourth wave and the fifth wave needs to get to 666 plus. So then I have five waves and at some point here it should form a top and then give us the next pullback. But either from 640 or 650, it's likely to get the next pullback. Um, again, can always push a bit higher, but these are the next levels to watch. Um, and if it then doesn't hold $6.04, it confirms basically the yellow count. So this is basically the next support region between 623 and 604, but there's no indication yet that this pullback has started. I'll keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, 
then please check out the channel membership also. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.